Hey everyone, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and today we set our clocks to summertime which means we are done with the daylight saving time and technically we lost one hour of our day today. And today I'm going to Shuvolmen to meet my friend Christian and we're gonna shoot some awesome stuff. Can't wait! And there's my friend Christian. He's actually the one who convinced me to start my vlog. Okay, so we're here at uh, Shuvolmen and we're trying to fly the drone but um, it seems like we're having a a problem it won't fly it won't be controlled and um, there's no GPS sort of thing I think it's because there's so much metal here or magnets okay so now we are going to a different location to do a second attempt for the drone and hopefully we'll be able to fly it successfully um, we're going to a place called Middle Alden Middle Alden Middle Alder Parkin Middle Alder Parkin okay so yeah Okay, so we, we um, updated the firmware and now I think it's ready, but I'm not sure. Um, it made a, a loud sound earlier, but we're able to fix it. So now we move to a different location. If you can see, there's not much interference. We'll try to fly it now. We'll see. Okay, yep. Okay. It's moving automatically. There's a problem. I'm not moving. Okay, we'll have to put it down. Stop, stop. We noticed that it's moving even though we're not trying to control anything. So I don't know what's the problem. I don't know if I can fly this thing. It's so unpredictable. Okay, so I think we'll call it a day and uh, we'll look for professional people who'll tell us what the issue was. Hopefully we'll be able to fly this thing in no time. It's Tuesday today and we are here at Volarengata and as I've said, we are going to a person, a professional one who's going to help us solve our, our problem with the drone and um, hopefully it's still open. <laughs> hopefully, um, can we ring it? Yeah, can do. Can do for tele. <laughs> okay, so apparently um, we asked the guy and um, he asked me if where I bought my drone and I said it's from the Philippines and um, and unfortunately he won't be able to help us with the with the drone. So what we're gonna do right now is um, do our own tests. We uh, try to we did some research on YouTube. Yeah, and so we will test out whether our theories are. Right or wrong? Okay, so we are now here at Tvaita. It's a huge park wherein we can test the, the drone safely. All right.
lesson learned whenever you're buying gadget always read the manual i mean it's there for a reason right but if you're lazy i mean we start yeah if you're lazy <laughs> um if you're lazy to read the manual always go to youtube youtube yeah because they have so many good instructions like who wants to read right and, <laughs> mm. right Right. You? You, you, can, you can relate to that. Right? And uh, you know, if you go and watch a video on YouTube, uh, you will learn so much, especially when it comes to uh, high tech gadgets like drones. The DJI manual for my drone didn't give me too much information. And uh, when I went to YouTube, it had so many tutorials, so much information. I felt ready to fly within a day. Yeah, I guess the, the point here is if you're ever gonna buy something, read um, the instruction in, in your own way. If you like reading, if you like watching, just do it because it's very important, especially with like what him said with drones. It's very technical, it's also dangerous. Like you have to take care of the surroundings, not only the gadget, you also have to think about the people that surrounds you. And um, yeah, I guess yeah. that's it. So guys, if you enjoy our video, um, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And um, see you next time. What? <laughs> <laughs>